Hey, sup? Today, I'm going to be doing something a bit different in this video. And this may be a long video, so I apologize if it is. Um, let's hop right into it, though. So, I always get this question. I have this trinket, this trinket, this trinket. Which ones should I be using? And I always get the question of what stats should I be going for? I have these legendaries. Uh, what stats are best for these legendaries? And that's something I can't tell you. This is something you need to figure out on your own. So what you want to do is go to simulationcraft.org. Then you're going to go to downloads. You're going to see right here, interested in nightly builds. And we upload new builds here every few days. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to click on this right here, windows64.exe. Click on that. And then it'll download. And um, so they do do this nightly. It's nightly builds. Usually it's every day. So if you really wanted to keep up to date, you can download the new one every day. I usually do it every few days. And once you get that downloaded, you're going to go to it. You're going to open it up. And then you're going to see the import. This is where you can import your character from the armory and edit the APL yourself. We're going to at first, um, we're just going to do the simple way with the add-on. So let me tell you about the options really quick. So the globals, here's the iterations, basically how many pulls. So 5,000, the length um, in seconds, so 60 seconds for a minute, 120 for two minutes, etc. I'm going to put it on 300, which is five minutes, I believe. Um, I usually put my iterations on like 20,000. But um, for the sake of this video, so it doesn't take forever to simulate. I'm going to put on 5,000. Very length is on zero. It's usually on 20 by default, but I have it on zero. Number of enemies. So you can simulate... Uh, versus how many enemies you want and then I have my MS on 25 super low because that's what I play with in game and then we're gonna go to scaling so you can enable you want to enable scaling if you want to see your stat weights so I enable scaling I have intellect crit haste mastery versatility on so um, if you're in agility class say you would put on agility if you're a strength class you can put on strength I have intellect, so I'm going to enable intellect, create haste, mastery, versatility. And then the very simple way to simulate your character is once you get the simulation add-on, you just want to download the simulation craft add-on. And then you want to go inside the game, put on whatever gear you want. So I have my single target gear on right now. Put on whatever talents you want. I have single target talents. And then you're going to type in game slim sim c slash sim c let me redo that slash sim c and then you can hit control c to copy all this and then you can go back to the simulation craft and then paste that in there and let me make sure my settings are good okay so and then you can just easily simulate just click simulate <clears throat> and then we'll see what stat weights we get. So 705k DPS. My stat weights are coming out in verse haste crit mastery. And you can see the chart and everything. At the, you can see the damage breakdown, simple actions, you know, buffs, etc. You can come down here, see the gear. And that's the very simple way to simulate your character. So if you wanted to change, say, let's say I want to simulate four targets and AoE talents. So let's put on, let's put on some AoE talents. Let's put on some AoE gear. Let's put on my Dragon's Breath helmet. And then we're just going to type SimC again. And then we're going to copy. We're just going to go in here again. And if you want to rename, by the way, you can do this. See, single target talents. I'll name that tab. AoE talents for targets. And let's turn this up, number of enemies to four targets, and then we can simulate this. <clears throat> I'm 
This may take a little bit longer since it's four targets. Just wait for this. Hurry up, man. I should have put my process priority higher for the sake of the video. It's almost done. First is the last one. And there you go. So, verse four targets using these talents. Um, you can see my stat weights came out with haste and verse credit mastery. The reason why haste is um, valuing so high is because flame patch. Flame patch and haste is so good together. Um, and but um, that's that. So that's the very easy. <clears throat> excuse me that's the very easy way to simulate your character very very easily so what I usually do though is I use the import so I'll show you here let's go back to single target talents and single target gear alright so what I can do here is log out and then we're gonna go back to simulation craft and we're gonna import my character let's make sure I have the right gear on and stuff okay I do so I have my legendary belt and my shard okay my gears right okay and then you can see there's a lot more in this so as you can see the flask you can see the food you're using the, uh, it has an augment rune it's using and you can see the potion it's using so let's say I want to use a different food so in game what's this called it's the haste food as a shari or however you say it let's say I want to change the food from crit to haste so let's type in as shari underscore salad so you always want to put a space or you always want to put an underscore for every space as you see it's flask of the wizard pack there's a underscore for every space same for everything else so let's say I want to change the potion from deadly grace to prolonged power so I'm gonna do prolonged underscore power and then also change the mid mid pre-pot or not pre-pot the mid potion from deadly grace to prolonged power as well and then at the very bottom you're gonna see your gear you can see the enchants and everything and there's the neck enchant if you wanted to sim mark of the claw you can do that mark underscore of underscore the underscore claw and you can see the enchants let's see let's go down to here you can see the gems so if I wanted to change the gems, I could just erase verse and type in crit. If I wanted to change it from verse to mastery or haste, I can do that. There's an enchant as well. I can change from 200 verse to haste again. Um, you can do all these things very easily. So let's go ahead and see what we get. It's going to be a DPS loss because I have Mark of the Claw. Mark of the Claw sucks. So... We'll see what we get with this. And assuming verse four targets, hold on, let me erase that. I want to do single target. All right, let's sim that again. Let's see what stat weights we get. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is how to sim like items that you do not have. So I'll show you that in a second. So as you can see, I got a DPS loss from the original single target one because Mark of the Claw sucks. And I'll show you here at the bottom that it used prolonged power, two prolonged powers. And you can see the Mark of the Claw buff here. And that's how you can change and edit the... Um, profile. I again I changed some of the enchants to haste and gems and I changed my neck enchant to mark of the claw. If I want to change that back I can do mark of underscore hidden underscore satire. Change that back. Alright so as you can see where's let me go to this again. Let me go to my results and show you that I have a 910 trinket 
So I have this 910 trinket, right? So what I can do is, let's say I don't have this trinket, and I want to simulate it. So burning sky, wow. Let me find this trinket. So I just find the item on Wowhead. I'm going to copy this name. And I'm going to go back to the profile. I'm going to delete this. Trinket 1. Put this in. Like I already said, you got to put an underscore for every space. And then you're going to do comma ID equals. The ID is up here. You can do another comma and then bonus underscore ID equals, which is up here, 3,500. And then we can simulate that, and you're going to see that it's going to be 875 trinket. I'm just going to cancel right here. I don't want to scale. So as you can see, the DPS went way down because I am now using instead of 910, I'm using an 875. And let's say I wanted to sim a, let's say I want to sim a 925, Mythic 925. So what we can do here is just copy this and change the bonus ID. And we'll simulate this again. I don't want to do scaling once again. As you can see at the bottom, it should have changed to a 925. Yep, as you can see, it's a 925 now. I think it's a bit buggy. Um, it's really hard to to sim these from Wildhead. Let's see here. Let me try to. Let me go to. Yeah, it's already on Mythic. So did I change the enchant? By the way. The DPS went down, which is odd. Let me see here in the profile. Meteor Impact 4.5. Still delete that one. Huh. It is correct. I don't know why it gave me a DPS loss, but um Oh, it is correct for sure. 5.1 to my 4.4 so I don't know why I got a DPS loss it's probably because I don't have enough iterations but anyways that's the basic idea you can do that with any piece of gear you can just go to Wowhead and um, get any item you want just look up any item you want and do what I just did um, copy the IDs etc and you can sim any character or any item that you don't have very easily and um, like I said, if you want to compare your trinkets very easily in game, let's say I wanted to switch this out for Arcano Crystal, swap that out. Let's do SimC, copy this, and let's go back to this profile. Let's make a new one. I can rename this Arcano for for Burning Sky, and then we can simulate that. It's going to be a huge DPS loss, but just uh, for example. And then we'll see what stat weights we get as well. It's probably a really long video, huh? 14 minutes? There's going to be one last thing I want to show you. If you have the Blood Lust Ring, you can go Oom. So I want to show you that. So as you can see there with the Arcano, my uh, stat weights are int crit versus haste mastery. And so the last thing I want to show you is if you have the bloodlust ring like me, you it's possible you could go close to Oom on the profile. So let's turn this up to a long fight where I'm going to get three lusts. And let's turn this up to... Let's turn this up to this for now. And then we'll have it scaling enabled. And um, let's simulate that. It's going to take a while. Hold on. Let me cancel this really quickly. 
let's go to options process priority normal I want this to sim faster I don't want to sit here all day man sorry to a long video dude <clears throat> it's taking forever, man. What is the first thing crit? Okay. Well, we're just going to sit here and wait for this. Oh, by the way, let me log out with this gear, by the way. So I'm going to log out in this gear, right? So I can mess with this profile. So let's log out in this gear so I can show you the example. After that is done, I'm going to import my character. And then, as you can see there, the haste is negative. Because, let's go to the bottom here. You can see that the profile went very close to Oom. Um. It's... You know, it's running out of mana. So how you can fix that is you go into this right here. And then you want to add a line under standard rotation. You want to add a line plus equals. And you want to add restore underscore mana comma mana equals zero. And that's going to fix that problem. And I'll show you here. I'm not going to do the scaling but you will see a DPS increase because the profile isn't going oom um anymore so let's just cancel as you can see the DPS went way up from the last profile because it's not going oom um anymore I'll show you at the bottom as you can see it's not oom um anymore so that's how you fix that problem especially if you have the dragon's breath helmet um, you can go oom um on the profile it's not very realistic that's why I added that line because realistically realistically you're never gonna go oom um, um, in the actual game unless you're just completely tunneling the boss and like you know ignoring mechanics and stuff like that you're never gonna go oom um, um, so it's just not realistic so if you add that line you won't go oom um anymore and uh, yeah so I think that's all I have and I hope I helped you guys out and um, I really appreciate if you watch this whole video and you learned something. Um, I'm not the best with SimCraft, but I know how to get around a little bit. So I do hope that I helped you guys. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everyone watching. And peace out.